Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, for Nerds by Nerds, here with a couple of my esteemed colleagues. We got Nate, Ted, Ryan, and actually we're more than a couple, we're a bunch. A bunch. A bunch of nerds. So we're, at, we're about to talk uh, Holy Rollers with our clerics. See, I would have went devotionally talking about clerics, but you know, uh, yeah, whatever. But Cler clerics fifth edition. Clerics fifth edition. Specifically. Because we did talk about clerics before with our friend Carrie. That's, That's right. right. So uh, actually we had a viewer after uh, witnessing our Warlock video decided to uh, uh, weigh in and they, they requested that we talk about clerics. Memnock, I believe, is the... Uh, the viewer and uh, thank you for that suggestion and with that let's let's talk let's talk clerics all right let's do that all right well we've got you guys have got your holy bibles that's right <laughs> we're doing we're doing a 5e bible study today yeah, yeah. well uh much like the mage i really like cantrips with clerics <laughs> playing my second level cleric and uh ted's game really really showed me how beneficial it is to have a spell you can do every single round whenever you feel like it all right and uh, they so, have got a really nice one, the Sacred Flame. Sa sacred Sacred Flame. It's doing a uh, you know, second level does a D eight, but they have to save only for half. It's auto hit, even with cover. So uh, which is cool. auto, hey, auto hit. There's, nice. there's another thing about clerics. It doesn't really have anything to do with fifth edition. Well, maybe it does, but uh, only one of these kids is doing their own thing. What are you talking about? You're the only one that hasn't played a cleric yet. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> well, that's I, true. I've made a cleric. I haven't played him yet. Oh, oh right, right. He hasn't actually. He hasn't had boots on the ground yet. Right. right yeah. A week from today, though. Yes. Yeah. That'll happen. Um, so uh, you, you've, you've played the cleric, Nate. Yeah. Um, and, and Dave, you said you've played the cleric. Cure wounds versus... Uh, uh, what's the what's the one that's that's the ranged spell? Oh, uh, word uh, healing, healing word. Yeah, yeah, healing healing word. word or word. Yeah. So what, what do you guys feel about, about the difference? Uh, healing word is pretty badass because it's ranged and a bonus action. Mm. Yes. The, the bonus action is the real, you know... Is that the one that heals for, like, a D4? Is D4, D4 yeah. plus. Yeah, uh, plus. plus it, it's not much, but, you know, sometimes you, you gotta heal and smack somebody. something yeah, in the yeah. head. Yeah. 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 Or to do double duty of healing two people at once, throw the ranged one, walk over, and heal the other no, guy. No, you can't, can't do that. Can't, 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 oh, no. you can't do the double spell. Uh, you can't do the double yeah, spell. I keep wanting to. saw you coming. But, you, yeah. but they can't do the double spell. Yeah, or you can smack somebody and take the dodge action to keep yourself safe. That's right. That's that as well. Yeah. Um, so, so with with my particular cleric, I don't see myself in the situation of saying I'm going to healing word and then smack something because he's not a melee cleric. Mm. He, he's he's the he's the dex and the the stat uh, are his dex and strength are his dump stats. What uh yeah, but what what um what uh, cantrip did you take for uh, initiative magic? Um, well, he initiative magic gave him two. Oh yeah. Um. So I believe I have prestidigitation and um, uh, fire arrow or flame, flame bolt. Flame bolt. Oh, so you, so you can very much do uh, uh, heal, healing word and flame bolt somebody. I I thought you couldn't. You cannot cast two spells. You can cast a cantrip uh, and, uh, and, okay. and use your bonus action right, well, as a then spell. That, then that, that's certainly a you know a feasible plan because um, flame bolt is his standard mode of attack. <laughs> the question is, did you take shield as your first level spell? Yes. Oh, you did? Oh, wait, wait, for for the mage spell? Yeah. No, I think I took thunder wave. Okay, okay. Because if you would if you would have taken shield, then as your reaction, you could have used shield as your bonus action of healing a word, and as your as your regular action, you could have then cast a flame bolt. Three That's... spells in a row. <laughs> so now we're talking about a variant on the cleric where you've actually taken. I have the magic initiate feet. Right. Feet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're so, getting a little bit back into wizard here. We're talking about so yes. specialized, <laughs> very specialized cleric. Yeah. So yes, that that is a specialized thing. He 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 took the knowledge domain, and like it totally turned this human into such a skill junkie, because he got the the extra skill from his his you know being a human, and then he gets the two extra skills for knowledge domain. And he's just going crazy with just the sheer amount of skill proficiencies that this guy has, and like I, I'm totally in love with with the whole idea. Did you take all the knowledges? I didn't believe so. Nice. Yeah, he he he's not taking acrobatics and athletics. You know, he's not taking the charisma skills. You know, he's he's about you know the the knowledge stuff, which is why he's in the knowledge domain. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm I'm very excited to actually see how this guy plays out. I, I like the knowledge domain. I think that is actually one of the better ones. Uh, War and Tempest also very Super sweet. Super awesome. Yeah. But yeah. you know, with, with the with the domains, it, it really gives the the cleric, I think, a much better flavor a distinct of, feel. of of whichever god or you know goddess or devotion that you're following than previous editions. Because there was a little bit of augmented spell list before, but now beyond the augmented spell list, you're actually getting abilities. Right. Um, to make them all feel pretty distinct. You know, like your your guy in my game, he's got the nature domain. Mm -hmm. Now, there hasn't been a whole huge amount of stuff for you to do. You've only had the one session. I'm only at second level as well. So. But when you look at at the stuff that you have to do, you have channel divinity, and you can talk to plants. Yeah, that's that's convenient. So, like, that you know, the, and I think the, later I get the ability to have them not attack me if they're attacking and kind of so, like charm my way through. So w with that, you're you're like a druid light. Yeah, you know, and with your your war domain, is that anything like a bug light? Yeah. Well, do we want to just go through the domains like um, just you know piece by piece, just like kind of sure. like look at you know? Um, Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. Well, Why not? You know, when we talked about warlock. Um, one of the things we mentioned was how diverse and how many different kinds of warlock you can make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe there's seven domains. You want to yeah. count them real quick? Sure. But I, I believe there's seven domains. Uh, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven. Yeah. So that means the uh, the cleric has a lot of different flavors as well. Doesn't quite match not, up. Not the nine. It's not the nine, and you're not as much as mix mixing and matching going on. But, you know, there's definitely, um, you know, some variety here. Right. So what do you got for us with the first domain? I mean, so it is it is knowledge, and we've we're largely sure, you know talked what? about... We're talking clerics. We're not just talking the mains here. So, so we talk about some of the other yeah, aspects like when you Yeah, some of the other aspects. All right. Well, you get sure. your cantrips, and yeah. as, as you said, you have the Sacred Flame. Auto hit, deck save for half. It's only a D8, but that that D8 for free... Ignore, and it also ignores uh, anything but complete cover. And it's radiant damage, which comes radiant in very damage. useful. Super handy against undead, demons, you know, the shadow creatures. creatures. Yeah. Shadow creatures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shadow and, demons. And, <laughs> you know, while you're mentioning cantrips, I got to mention uh, the one that I cannot pronounce. The one that's like precedentation. Thaumaturgy? Yes, that one. Because my man GM Juice loves that thing. You know, he's, he doesn't play spellcasters, and he got to play his uh, Hell Dwarven uh, cleric in the. All right, so, what, so in, how, how did he make most use of Thaumaturgy? Well, I think in a bar fight, <laughs> to be honest with you, because where else is it? But now he's playing in uh, Fistful of Dice's game, Matt Click, uh, which is a great YouTube channel. You should check it out. Um, and he, he's not familiar with Spellcasters at all. He usually plays the, the meat wall. And so he actually had AJ Pickett from the glue stick, the mighty glue stick, another YouTube channel, pick his spells for him. He was just like, tell me what to, what to do. And he, and he got that one, and he, and he loved it. Because he used the, his his shining moment for that spell that made him fall in love with was breaking up a barroom bar brawl, you know, by making the ground shake. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it, you know, it's 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 very much like the wizard presentation only, it's flavored a little bit different. And then the cleric, I believe the druid also has one. That is, they're all like similar, but they're not quite the same. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look for the druid one. See if see how my. Uh... My magic guy can get that one because he's got thaumaturgy and prestidigitation. Oh uh, yeah, he's missing so, one like I, a Pokemon. I, 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 I gotta collect them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And I'm he's a cleric, so it's wisdom based. So he's in good stead there as far as a uh, power stat wise. So yeah, I mean they get the ritual casting, which is nice. Um, you know, to be able to, to uh, get a free casting of something. Yeah, ritual super casting handy. for the cleric not as good as the wizard. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Right. Well, I mean, at least though, like you know, um, like the knowledge domain. There's a lot of stuff there. So yeah, that, that's where that's where it works. Because shine there the, with the knowledge domain, first level spell identify. It's always prepared, so yeah. I can just ritualize it. Right, as know. long as you got some cash. Yeah, yeah that's true. You got to trade in some coins. That's a, that's up to you to to make sure it happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, never, never. Uh, just I'm using it, sure. and if you can't put it back down, it's cursed. Yeah. There's also it's uh, you know it's Dave's game so <laughs> who's gonna need identify? <laughs> yeah, right, that is true too. That is true too. Um, so yeah, I mean you know some of the cleric standards are there like the channel Divi or yeah channel divinity. 
Um, you get some alternative abilities per domain. Off but, of that channel but, divinity. Right, but baseline, just turning undead, so making them go away from you is, is pretty handy when you have the zombie hordes, because zombies in this edition are a pretty fearful thing, as, as we've, we've discovered. I mean, maybe we just had some bad rolls, but that zombie was not going down. So, and that I, was just one. There was just one. <laughs> so well, it was also a you know a CR two zombie, souped up. Yeah. No, I mean that's not souped up. I mean I, I, I altered what the physical thing was, but I think it was like I don't know. They're CR twos. Yeah, it was a CR two yeah. zombie. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Zombies. Zombies are tough. Zombies are tough. And you need a cleric to get rid of a <laughs> well, zombie. And now too, it's so much harder to uh, you know to dust undead like third edition. That was something that yeah. you could do with some re reliability. And there was a round or two that it could have dropped, but Nate stopped using the sacred flame on it. Yeah. Hey, you know when you don't have religion knowledge as a cleric, sometimes so you, you just not miss be that kind of cleric. Yeah. yeah. I focus yeah, on so that. so with your you know knowledge domain, you get some some interesting spells. Not much that's going to really work in combat. But it's great for for outside of combat, and their channel divinity bonus really goes along well with that, because you can use one of your turns to just get proficiency with anything, well, be it, you be know, it a knowledge or a tool. When I played my or my half orc uh, uh, cleric of the dwarven battle god, I was so disappointed that I forgot to use my channel divinity. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh no, it wasn't my channel divinity ability. I just got that. Uh, his one of his domain abilities, which is they basically get extra attacks a day according <laughs> nice. to their wisdom modifier. Yeah, that's super handy. That's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cleric, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. So let's see. So yeah, they've got you know like the uh, knowledge domain. They get a bunch of you know a couple of languages. They get a couple of different additional skills, and then at second level is huge with getting any skill. Or uh, you know, or tool use for ten minutes. So you're you're awesome at anything for ten minutes of the day. Is the knowledge to me? Is that the first one listed? Yeah. It is. It wow, is. that's that feels weird that we start at start, start at K. K. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, they well they, they don't, don't have animal anymore. Or it's death. All, it's all you know, animal folded into nature. Folded yeah. into nature now. Yeah. So I mean, the spell selections in general, I'm pretty happy with them. They're just super thematic. You know, they they all fit. They're really cool and flavorful. Um. So, you know, the high-level abilities are, are pretty cool for the knowledge domain, where they get, like, uh, they can basically relive the past of objects or locations, you know. Yeah, object reading, neat. area reading. Yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, then you move into, you know, the life domain, um, which is pretty much your basic cleric. Yeah, this is, the this, this, mode. Is, this is your default cleric from, like, earlier editions, right. I feel like. Yeah, yeah it's like, hey... I'm a healer, so this would probably... Cleric generic. <laughs> At your service. You know, so this would have probably been, for, for third edition, the healing domain. Mm. Yes. Um, mm. You know, and to go along with that basic cleric, you know, they get the, the, the heavy armor so that they can, you know, really soup it up and, you know, stand in combat and heal, heal the people that need it. Mini tank. <laughs> Basically. Right, yeah. um, you know, they get to preserve life... Um, so they, they can use their channel divinity to actually do more healing. Again, to going along with the, the whole heal, healing stuff. Um, and they get, you know, other abilities that, again, seem to... This is the cleric your party wants. Right, right. <laughs> this is the cleric your party gets. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. yeah. You know, so, so then you move into the, the light domain. And here's where you're kind of getting more, more spellcastery. Yeah. Um, you get a, a bonus cantrip. Oh, he's like a fire mage, man. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Similar. He's well, no, the I mean, of like, fireball. Come on. I don't even know <laughs> if I would say specifically that um, spellcaster like, he's super able to, um, I don't know, like, save his own skin with his, his uh, the, the warding flare ability is awesome. Right, but they get burning hands, fairy fire, flaming sphere, scorching ray, fireball, Wall of fire, yeah, they flame get area effects stuff. You know, this some... is this is definitely you know light slash fire domain. <laughs> well, it says <laughs> everything produces light when it burns. It, it's, it's, an, <laughs> yeah. it's an attack, you know, spell list. If you yeah. look at what's actually here, um, that you get to slap up on a bit of armor. <laughs> You're like, go to the light, but it burns. Mm -hmm. It burns so much. You know, and like some of the other other things, they get potent spell casting. You can add your your wisdom modifier to your any damage damage dealing spell you have. You know, I actually don't like that for the light domain. Yeah, I, I it's useful, it's great, very combat oriented. Mm. But I just 
I, I feel you know. I feel like they shorn that one. You know in. what though? They've they gave that to the knowledge domain too at eighth level. So. Yeah. Well, uh, and I, it's think, just, I think it fits more it's for all, the, the light domain than it does for the the knowledge domain. Yeah. Well, you know, I I kind of lean the other way because I feel like at least the knowledge domain they, they study spells and magic and. And, and it is just their cantrips though. It is just their cantrips that they're getting that for. Oh, it's uh, only the right. cantrips. Yeah, yeah. It's just cantrips. It's not. It's not all their spells. Not their whole. Isn't list. there only one spell cantrip that does damage? Well. <laughs> you've got your sacred flame, and you've got your. Are you talking about just the? Any and it's any cleric uh, cantrip, so it's yeah, not it's even any cleric cantrip. Yeah, so you can't even use it for my, uh, you know, firebolt. They saw you coming, man. Or they can't so can't use it for your uh, yeah. shillelagh. Yeah, shillelagh. <laughs> yeah. Curses, but yeah, I. Think All right, you gotta check. Someone's Somebody's got to check this. Check I need what, to know. Well, check doesn't what, it count as a cleric spell? Check what damaging. Uh, yeah, I got to know if there's any other actual cantrips. All right, while do you're damage. doing that though, like just warding flare is the best thing ever. So it's the first level of ability that the that the light cleric gets. At first level, you can interpose divine light between yourself and the attacking enemy. When you are attacked by a creature within 30 feet of you that you can see, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll, causing light to flare bef before the attacker before it hits or misses. Attacker that can't be blinded is immune to this feature. Um, so it lets you use that ability as many times as your wisdom modifier, but that means like, say you have, you know, a plus three wisdom modifier. If you're targeted, you know, three times in that day, boom, like. It's you, a reaction. That's yeah, a it's reaction a reaction to, to just give somebody disadvantage, you know? So yeah. it's, it's almost like, you know, it's like the shield spell. Uh, well, I mean, okay, it's only targeting one attack, but still right. it's like, it's like your little like saving grace sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, Super so after checking the book, I want to call bullshit. On that, yeah, on that other one because it's one spell that that actually applies to. Yeah. Well, they might expand the spell list. You know, well, I'm we, sure they will so, eventually. Right. Eventually. Eventually. Someday. Yeah. So eventually, Sunday. eventually we all grow old and die. So uh, so nature domain, we we, uh, we we enter into druid light. So the spell the spell list good. The, well, and, yeah. and don't forget, you know, you get you get that free cantrip. Um, a druid cantrip, basically. Yeah, yeah that's kind of sweet. That's yeah. nice and tasty. And, uh, you know, you, you also wind up getting extra skills. You know, you get... Well, uh, a skill, yeah. Oh, so yeah. You get animal handling or survival, but... Or nature. Oh, sorry. Animal animal handling, nature, or survival. But uh, that, that druid cantrip, you know, Nate's guy is using it, and he's got shillelagh. And it's like, poof, I can turn my club into... You know, instead of a D6, it's now a D8 plus one weapon. It counts as magic for any creature that, that's going to need it. And you can cast Shillelagh as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Pretty, and it gets so. better later, I believe. <laughs> yeah, so, so. You, get to, you get to set um, you can set your club to Womp. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and, of course, my, my, my big problem with the Nature Domain, I'm a druid, cleric. Plate mouth. And I get plate mail. I, heavy armor. I can have. I can wear heavy armor. That one needs a trombone sound because they didn't really put a lot of thought. Uh, yeah, I was just talking about this earlier with you guys. I really feel like they could have put any cool little power in or another proficiency. Really, I, I would have actually just seen them get all three of those proficiencies instead of the heavy armor, or maybe a fine familiar with like woodland beings, like it's naturey animals. Give it an animal companion that sucks. Yeah. Something. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. like the, the fine familiar Hello, thing. Hello, ranger. Well, I mean, like, you know, if they can cast the fine familiar wizard spell. Right. Like, something like that. Because, dude, familiars are awesome. Like, they're so handy. So, and yes, it would well, be way... Anything but heavy armor would, would have be been thematic. Been more yeah. thematic, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we may, maybe that's one of the house rules we'll make because it's not a big sweeping change stupid. in the game. <laughs> and yeah. it won't affect you because you're not wearing the heavy armor. Yeah. Actually, I'll get something, so it will affect me. <laughs> yeah. I'll get a bonus. It, it well, I, you know, I, I like, you know, giving them, you know, the non-weapon proficiencies or, or, the, or the, you know, an animal familiar companion type thing. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. So, let's see. So they get their, their ability to charm plants and animals with their divinity. Um, they can dampen the elements. Um... They get a divine strike. They become master of nature at 17th level. Um, what is master of nature? It sounds impressive. At 17th level, you gain the ability to companion animals and plant creatures. While creatures are charmed by your charm animals and plants feature, you can take a bonus action on your turn to verbally command what each of those creatures will do on its next turn. So, here's one of them. Do they get divine strike, too? They do. That... that all right. No, they they don't get the same. The the divine strike is different. 
than the, uh... the. It's not the spell thing. It's not the cantrip thing. No, no, it's extra weapon damage, right? It's it's elemental weapon damage that they get to add. O okay. Now, th this 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 is not specifically the nature domain per se, but the domains in general. They give this to a lot of them, mm -hmm. and it just feels really lazy. Yeah. They even they give it to the life domain. Well, it, yeah, it's radiant, but I don't know. It's life just, domain. Yeah, it feel it feel you know it feels lazy really. Life domain, tempest, war, nature. And Te tempest and war, it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tempest is basically you. I think you do thunder damage or right. lightning damage. Right. And war is you just do extra damage of whatever you're hitting them with. Right. right. <laughs> so you it, hit harder. No, no. It, well, yeah, the type. <laughs> but it, basically, that's it. You know, if you hit them with a warhammer, it's the the damage type is bludgeoning. If you hit them with a sword, it's slashing. So. And, you know, it makes sense, but some of them, it's like, you know, you could have just, this was an opportunity to do something interesting here. Right, to make them all more distinct well, and stand out. Yeah. For, for, one, for one side, you know, they've given you seven options, and they've come up, they've come up with, essentially, there's, there's multiple things in each that, that they're working with, whereas with other classes, you're looking at, at, at three. So, you know, yes, you know, it, there's a little bit of the taking the easy way out, by saying, okay, we're going to smatter, you know, Divine Strike here and Potent Spellcasting there, and that covers the basis for 8th level. Well, yeah. at least the uh, the Potent Spellcasting, when you have one spell option versus, like, you know, when you're hitting with a weapon, to, you know, like, that's a little better, because it's like, huh, I got this one choice to damage thing with Cleric Spells. <laughs> my or di my Die 8 spell, although it is an awesome spell yeah. to add Radiant Damage to, I mean. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is this is definitely nerdy and uh, rules lowering here, but if you have a domain spell, it becomes a cleric spell if it's not on the cleric spell list. So your cleric can cantrips, well, your cantrips that you have, but the spell list don't have cantrips. But you gain some of them gain some cantrips. Like I gain a cantrip as a druid. Well, it's a cleric spell, even though it's a druid spell. You know, because I mean? it becomes. Oh yeah, so you would get your bonus. He's like, wait so, a minute, uh, this is right like, now. This it's that that power stunk way too much. So it's like what plus three on sacred on sacred flame on one spell. Yeah. 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 Oh right. Up to a plus three. I could be a crummy yeah. cleric and only have like a plus one or plus two. So as an eighth level power, that's really lame. So it's still kind of lame because if you don't have access to multiple cantrips. Well, so now you've outdone them all by having access to. Oh, you don't get it. Never mind. <laughs> huh? No, I get Ray. I have yeah. uh, I have Ray of Frost, yeah, but that is my wizard thing for yes. my elf, for my yes. high elf background. So that doesn't count as a, a cleric spell. No, that's but a my druid cantrip, Shillelagh would count. Yes. Except for you don't get the ability that makes it matter. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you don't get potent spellcaster, right? The so nature? No, I think... Uh, no, no. Nature gets a divine strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, they're just saying you get plus up to a plus three or plus four bonus On to sacred your sacred flame. flame. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they they might as well just say, your sacred flame adds your... <laughs> it, it's cooler now. Well, for you, you do have spells that you get bonuses to as cantrips. Do you get cantrips through your wizard? Oh, no. Uh, through your cleric? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, I, that's uh, wizard initiate. That, that's because for magic initiate. All right. Yeah. So basically, it really is just the power. Well, plus, I'm, I'm plus certain. Whatever to I'm certain there's plane. something in there that we're not we're not quite seeing yet. But uh, yeah, the other splat books with more spells on them. <laughs> Maybe yeah, <laughs> additional spells. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing I could possibly say. Well, if if we feel it's not not working, we can always just house rule something that that works for appropriate. Our group. Yeah. Hey, but for right now, we're talking about the clerics. The right. We're, yeah, so we're looking at that, the book. that power. Is kind of jank. Wah, wah. Sounds way cooler until you realize it's one spell. <laughs> Absolutely one spell. Well, let's not let's not look at the spell list then. Yeah. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll so elevate not, it back. Yeah, like yeah, just just read it. Like oh, great, all my cantrips, all my, my cantrips. Oh, my attack cantrips are so much better now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's like a million. Oh, there's can affinity. I, can, I, can I choose to do three more damage uh, with my uh, you know save the dying? Nice. <laughs> Absolutely, I'll allow that. <laughs> well, sir, I'll allow it. you're stabilized. Take three damage <laughs> <laughs> and take a, def a failed death saving throw. <laughs> yeah. Bring him back, Death Knell. Yes. yes. Favorite spell. Death Knell. Hey, I think Death Knell is in here. Actually, it's it's such a sweet spell um, for an evil cleric. So we have the Tempest Domain now, yeah. which again, the spell list, awesome. Like it's you know. I really struggled when I made my half work. Uh, Cleric of a, of a Dwarven Battle God. I really struggled with uh, Tempest and uh, War Domains. Well, they get Thunder Wave? 
And like Thunderwave, like it's the one that like sometimes as a wizard even you're tempted to run in so you get to <laughs> just <laughs> go and bowling pin a bunch of people and throw them. But like you don't want to do it with them. But you're heavily because you get to wear heavy armor as a Tempest cleric, so that you can rush in and go boom. Somebody. It's like all right, I got heavy armor, I got a shield, I got that you know 16 or so armor class. I'm gonna walk in there and <laughs> drop it and push everybody back. And look bad, and, and, and not have a problem. Oh, you know about it. there is there is something else we're not mentioning about the cleric that kind of goes for all the domains and is really really super sweet. Well, as a spellcaster, you can use the components or you can use a spell focus. For the so cleric, that's your shield. holy symbol. Choo, choo. And for the cleric, they can place their holy symbol on their shield. That's right. That's yeah, the, the 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 wizards running around, you know, with a rod or a staff or a wand. Whereas the the cleric, it's like, yeah, I got an amulet, I got a shield, I can still have a weapon in this hand and not care. A belt buckle, <laughs> yeah, yeah. codpiece, whatever yeah, it takes. That's right. So they they really, you know, they still have their focus. But evil, don't. eat my eat, eat my holy codpiece. <laughs> Hey, you know, <laughs> our one de former deity of uh, drunkenness, the uh, Jolivia. Jolivia. Yeah. You could totally have the cod piece. Actually, uh, there's a great Black Adder uh, <laughs> clip where he's got like this giant cod piece. That he's walking around, and it's like, well, not only that, it's like pronounced and like dangling. Like he, oh his cod God. piece, it's called the Black Russian. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. He's like in this, um, and he, and it's like oh, the Black Adder. The, it's, and it was a. Um, it was a confirmation ceremony for someone in going into the church. Like I think it was like his brother being confirmed into the church. It was hilarious. <laughs> but a little off topic. But holy cod pieces. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, so, but back to Tempest Domain, which their awesome spell list and mm -hmm. the fact that they get the martial weapon and heavy armor as their first level uh, bonus there. And then the and they fact can fly. Well, at, at 17th <laughs> level, they get to be Peter Pan as long as they're. Oh. Under, not underground or indoors. But forget this. Channel Divinity. Destructive Wrath. They can use their, their uh, Channel Divinity to just deal maximum damage. Yeah, why not? Oh, wait. We didn't even talk about their other first level ability. The one where if somebody attacks you, you can just do thunder or lightning damage to them. <laughs> they don't even need to hit you. Like, my god's not very happy with you. <laughs> Boom! 2d8 <laughs> as, 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 um, as a reaction to I just damage people. I think later on they get to do bonus damage... Whenever they do thunder or lightning damage or one of the other, right? Well, yeah, they get um. Uh, let's see, what is it? So they get the extra D eight. They get the divine strike ability, which everyone apparently they're handing out that all to all the cleric. But at least it kind it's of fits the with with the tempest cleric. Um, so that's badass. I like no, the, the fact that they're they're sixth level ability. No, the, the thunderbolt strike is whenever you do thunder damage to a large or smaller creature, you can push it back ten feet. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, that's thunder damage. <laughs> so, <laughs> Oh, you try and hit me. You try I... and hit me, smack. Hit, yeah. Take 2d8 points of damage and back up 10 feet. That's right. Next. Back off, <laughs> bitch. You're just throwing people left and right. Basically, you're a fucking Jedi. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're hitting people. Well, you're a Sith. You're a Sith. You're banging people up with lightning and throwing them off. And you get Thunderbolt right. or, or Thunder Wave as well. So so how does that work? Do they stack? Can you knock them back 20 feet? Oh. I well, I would, I would imagine so. Absolutely, because it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I thunder away. They go back ten feet. Wait, I did thunder damage. Another ten. And we talked about this, and I've talked about this in another video. Something I've done. If you have a web spell active and going on. Thunder Wave is great to just hurl people back into it, and then <laughs> set it on fire, and then set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, right. The, yeah, the Tempest Domain is key. Now. We get a sad trombone sound again. Wah, wah, when we trickery Domain. The Trickery Domain, like. There's, there's a lot of good spell selection here. There's yeah. a lot of things, but their their kind of principal ab ability, blessing of the of the trickster, is where it kind of stops the Falls the apart. whole rogue cleric situation, because you can't give the benefit to yourself. Yeah, I this is the the trickster the trickery so uh, domain cleric. I would want to take four levels of rogue and then the rest uh, cleric, it, but for the fact. I can't use my divine ability. Apparently, my deity does want, not want to acknowledge the fact that I can do stealth or do anything tricky. No, no, no. You got to help other people. Yeah, you got to help other so people. I mean, because that's what tricksters are all about helping other people, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Starting when you choose this domain at first level, you can use your action to touch a willing creature other than yourself to give it advantage on deck stealth checks. This blessing lasts for one hour until you use this feature again. So, I, well, you I know, I, I, I guess I kind of understand why they did it. Because you would just always make stealth checks at advantage. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, now you can make someone else make Always them make advantage. them at advantage. So what's the difference? I mean, especially, like, if you're going with a... All right. So you're probably... If you're going to do this, like, it's a suboptimal build when you think about it. Because you're not going to go in heavy armor. Because you want to be able to do stealth. Um, or, I mean, you might... might Okay, roll. You are getting advantage. Right, you are you are an advantage, so you may wear slather on the armor, the armor, and still do that. But like, you know, well, you you don't get heavy armor anyway, so you'd be medium. But there's medium armors you can wear and not get disadvantage. Right. Yeah, because I mean, there's some. It's kind of a fifty-fifty split on the. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you can wear a chain shirt because I think Mark downgraded his armor class for, for that when he wanted to um be stealthy. But I I think a lot of times you're gonna like. If, if you're building the sort of very trickstery rogue light, you know, like cleric, you're going to take the hit on armor to be able to do that and to oh, be yeah. better at it. Yeah. But aside from that, breastplate, you're good. Yeah. Chain shirt, you're good. And hide, you're good. So you have three options for medium armor that give you between a 1 and a, a 12 and a 14 armor class Great. plus your two decks. So, so you, you definitely have some options as far as that. Uh, but, you know, yeah, it does suck that, that their ability is. To basically boost the rogue. <laughs> right, or the ranger, yeah. Aside from that, what do you think about the trickery? The, the spell, again, the spell list is good. The, the Making the duplicate of yourself, it's decent. You know, like, it, it's, it, you know, it fits with the domain. I, I, I might have wanted to see something else, but, the, you know, the illusion's not too, too yeah, it's not bad. It, de it definitely is something that's useful. Well, the fact that it, it can, um... It basically gives you advantage on your attack rolls while you have that going. Again, that begs to make this character a rogue cleric, so you're always getting your sneak off. Mm -hmm. You know. But the other the other thing is is these guys have a second use or a, a, technically a third use is they get cloak of shadows as well. Uh, starting at sixth level, you can use your channel divinity to vanish. As an action, you become invisible un until the end of your next turn. So yeah. So again, that, this is where you line up the sneak attack. I, yeah. So you have all these things playing into you being a rogue without actually being able to benefit. Being I, a... I, I think I would let, in my campaign anyway, if I'm running the game, I, I let the trickery domain guy swap out that first level ability for stealth and deception. Mm. Well, but if you take the most fitting, say you take the criminal background, which is going to give you stealth. Personally, I say you just open it up to let them cast on themselves. Like, I, think know, advan I, think no, I think advantage on stealth checks all the time is too good. Four times a day. Say if you have a plus four, and then like and then you're not doing 20. the cool things at six if you do vanish four times that. a day. No, it's well, no. He, he's saying he's saying may, make it be a X number of day. Well, no, it uh, is. It is like you yeah, you only get to do this the number of times. Let's see, you can use this action. To, uh, oh, it it no, actually it's just, doesn't it's just, cap it. You it's for an hour. Work. It lasts an hour, and you can do it as much as you want. That, yeah. That, well, I mean, but it's still different. it's still infinite it's still infinite on that one character as long as they're not split from the party. Yeah, but you still have to touch them. Like there, there's like there's some mitigating there, factors. There's a pretense of, of limit limiting effects. Yeah, but most times you're gonna be able to work. I, just, I would really rather have I would rather just time. offer up proficiencies, and if they decide to take the criminal, they can take alternate proficiencies. Yeah. Because it says so right under the backgrounds, it's a place right. to swap them out. Mm -hmm. It makes it turns that cleric into more of a skill monkey. You know, why shouldn't he be every bit the skill monkey as um, knowledge, nature. as the knowledge and the nature one, you know? It, maybe even throw him Thieves Can't, because it's a Ooh. secret language. That would be, that's alluring there. Yeah. Two proficiencies in Thieves Can't? I mean, you know, the knowledge, you're getting four, you're getting four basically. Two languages, two proficiencies. I'm going to say that Thieves Can't is weighted because it's a secret language. Right. Mm. Very secret. Well, let's see, we could, nature, we could do the same thing. What if, you know... You can sp yeah speak Druid, yeah speak Druid. the secret la language of Druid. <laughs> Although these secret languages aren't as uh, as weighted as before, because now like you can pay and learn Druid. Well, if you yeah, can but find who's going to teach you? Uh, that's true. There I mean, that. yeah, thieves this can't maybe, but you know, you know, is that something that could have a thieves guild put the, put a hit out on you for teaching that? possibly you know As so there could be. be ramifications and although you can pay to learn a language and, and even skills i would say it still takes it takes time. a long time it does that's but you can you can break up the time too like you can you know, oh, yeah. spend a week here you know a week there kind of deal but you know it's not gonna happen right away in your game so it's kind of mitigating and you know to do it over and over again will be difficult right well no i mean there's definitely a limitation and the gm 
can throw up some bad or serious barriers to certain things. So that's that's super controlled. But anyway, so you know, like the um, the trickery again gets that uh, the divine strike thing. Theirs is with is with poison. So everything gets like some sort of energy or poison add-on that deals extra damage. They have that. Um, let's see. So now, war. What is it good for? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. War is mains. another... Dude, yeah, it's pretty there's, sweet. There, both of their um, s spells for first level can be done as bonus actions. And, you know, let's backtrack a little bit because the cleric actually gets a, a pretty large number of spells to choose from when you're talking about castings. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a, I think it's slightly larger than the wizards. You know, because they get their two domain spells, which are always available to mm -hmm. cast, and then it's their what is it your your level plus your wisdom modifier? I believe so. Yeah, so I had a fourteen wisdom first level three. I had like five spells to choose from, even though I can only cast two. Yeah. So so that part is really super sweet. You know, for the war priest in particular, you know both of those spells get cast as a bonus action. They you get got martial divine, weapons, divine focus, shield of faith at first level. You get martial weapons, you get heavy armor, and it says, from first level, your god delivers bolts of inspiration to you while you're engaged in battle. When you use the attack action, you <laughs> My can make... god says, hit him again! <laughs> hit him <laughs> again! Kick him in the nips! You can make one weapon attack as a bonus action. You can use this feature a number of times equal to your wisdom modifier. Uh... My deity is Eric Card. You regain all... <laughs> <laughs> you, you regain all uses when you finish a long rest. Yeah. So, you know, you got you got a two wisdom modifier, so you can you can use a bonus action twice twice a day to just take an extra attack. I like it, man. That's kind of cool. Super handy. Super handy. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. Their um, channel divinity. Channel divinity is nice to get the the plus ten to hit. Or yeah, that's that's basically like getting off a a, a true strike. So half a true strike. Half anyway. a true strike. But I mean, still like. It's a good to cost. Of, how many times can, can you channel divinity nowadays? It's it's kind of they nerfed that a bit. Yeah, yeah. There's only so many times. I think you have to go back to the charge. Right. You need like I think you need like a. Um, but the, the real the real thing about. Oh, about, that's a short rest though, dude. Yeah. It, well, it is, but a short rest is an hour, and depending on what's going on, so you you know. But that that guided strike, you can you can choose to use that after you've made your roll uh, and yeah, before yeah. the DM says whether it hits or not. Right. Yeah, and you usually, you can usually tell. Like, yeah. yeah, you're like <laughs> yeah. a five? I get a plus five? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh, you know, I, I got a five, I got a plus ten, I puts it up to a twenty. Well, and, and in fifth edition, this part, the math is really easy, right? Because, you know, if something has a twenty armor class in this game, it is a fucking god. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's or terrifying. A <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, his his uh, his guys in our other other Example. Yeah, buff twenty. Yeah. But, well, no, truly, the fearsome would be like a thirty AC, like in this edition. I think would be. Like, yeah, I, but I don't think anything gets that high. I don't know. Uh, I think some of the dragons might. Yeah, yeah what's they're the, pretty bad. What's the going range read on the dragon? Twenty six. I don't know. I got a book here, and it's pretty yeah, close to a, dragons. Take a look. It's a, in a book. So yeah, I mean, so they're getting again. They're getting the divine strike, but they're just like, I'm gonna smack, hammer you with my hammer. Ancient even silver harder. dragon, twenty-two. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's crazy. And uh, let's look. The gold ACRs gold is are right here. So low, twenty-two. Wow. So yeah, ancient red dragon, twenty-two. So yeah, a plus ten to hit something is huge. That is, it is huge, freaking huge. But yeah, anyway, like, like the divine trap. strike is is pretty funny. AC twenty five. Um, twenty five. Yeah. It uh it just basically I'm gonna hammer this guy even harder with my hammer. You're just gonna do more bludgeoning, that's it. You're gonna do be extra swordy with your sword, you know. You're not not even no pretense of it being energy or anything. No, you know? no, no. You're it's just, just stab harder. Yeah. I, yeah, I, you know, I can forgive it on, on the war and tempest. At least yeah, it's it thematic and makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. And then how about their uh, 17th level your, ability? No, yeah, your right. sword turns into a chainsaw. Yeah. Oh, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> power sword? Was that a power sword? In, uh, Maybe. Some game, so probably. 40K. Chain so, sword. So, so, chain so. sword. 40K, yeah. So Avatar of Battle at 17th level, you gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That That's pretty cool. It's pretty handy, man. It's like, you want to stab me? All right. That, that heavy armor, you add a DR3 on top of it from the feet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, you're basically, um, it's like you're Superman at that point. Uh, <laughs> although, by the things you're fighting at 17th level, everything has magic weapons. <laughs> yeah. It's considered I, I magic. Or it's considered magic, yeah. It depends, man. We have to see what, the, what, it, what it's like at that point in time. Well, I've been reading through my monster manual. There's a lot of things like that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, how many campaigns have we played that have gone that One, high level? One, two. <laughs> hey, man, th it's a new goal, new year. Let's 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 max them out. Yeah, get some some to actually go to level twenty and see see what happens. So uh, you got a cleric, you got a cleric. I do. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, Should overall on the clerics, I, I I thumbs up. That's good stuff. Dave, I like I like them. They're super thematic. And again, I got to make myself out to a character. He's a cleric, but instead he gets up there and hits things with an axe. All right, Ryan. It's appropriate. You, you, you're you're not a, a super fan of cleric as a whole. Reading through, are you inspired? Well, I mean, yeah. you know, my thing was always, uh, you know, I I often make the that that uh, the uh, <laughs> that not that type of cleric cleric. <laughs> when you, when you do make a cleric, it's a rogue. Yeah, it's usually. <laughs> and yeah. when I make a character, it's usually a rogue. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Rogue, yeah. so. like I usually I would usually do trickery, but this trickery, it, as it stands now, like it, it needs a little bit of work. All right, so you feel tricked. Do you feel tricked? So, so, you, so you look at the cleric in the book. Tempest, yeah, though, I would yeah. totally want to play Tempest. So, so you're are you inspired to play a cleric? I would play a cleric. I'm not innately um, against playing clerics. It's just that, um, you know, like yeah, I never play like the the super stereotypical goodly you're, guy. You're not the cleric clerics. So. Yeah, never. Yeah, never. Life really. domain, not having it. No, absolutely not. That would you, be like the last thing I'd pick. You guys out there, you know, a cleric is my is my go-to. Uh, I love I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I'm just excited to actually. Uh, Go ahead and actually. You know. I'm trying to get an Im the image of you rubbing clerics out of my head. So <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and put your jokes in the comments Polish below. <laughs> Polishing that holy symbol. <laughs> Polishing the black Russian uh, holy symbol. Huh? Way too hard. Uh, yeah. So with uh, that, like, comment, subscribe, share, clean yeah. out your ears after. Uh, Check us out on nerdarchy.com. Uh, pretty much, we're all over social media. So on the Facebooks, on the you Facebooks. uh. You can't swing a nerdarchy without hitting us. Hitting us. How do you swing a nerdarchy? We, maybe, maybe you or Ryan we could swing, but you're not going to swing t uh, Nate <laughs> no, very no. far at all. No, we need all three of us just to pick up Nate. Yeah, I'd be another hard one to swing as well. Yeah. Maybe we can make a nerdarchy battering ram yeah, and find yeah. nerdarchy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a buffer battering ram, yes, we somewhere. could swing that around. So with that being yeah. said, until, my, until next time, my friends, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.